the morning sun I'll be sitting in the evening pond Watching the ships roll in And then I'll watch them roll away Lisa Love and I, who was the director of the Georgia Music Hall of Fame in 2007, founded this Otis Music Camp. It was a camp that was established to commemorate the birthday of Otis Redding. We figured that the funds that we were raising uh, would be used towards a summer camp that we would do maybe two, three times. And here we are in our eight years of this camp. What we do is we take the talents of what ever students come in and our goal is to be able to coach what's already there. A lot of phenomenally talented students are here and they're already talented but when you put talent with practice and with coaching then that's when you get something really special. Sitting on the dock of a bay. I take them into the studio and provide them with a, a studio experience so they learn how to check the microphone, how to sing into a microphone in the studio, um, how to be comfortable wearing headphones and communicating back and forth what their needs are in terms of, of how much they need to hear themselves in the mix. I'll give them advice as to uh, parts that they may want to do over or I'll, I'll communicate with their coach who, who worked more closely with them on their song and try to figure out exactly what they need to do and what they need to change and, and uh, uh, just give them a, a really solid experience in the studio. It's probably one of the most worthwhile things that I do every year or that I've done in my life. Um, the kids continuously overwhelm me with how talented they are. Kids come in here with songs already written and kids at least have this chance at such a young age to know that if you want to do it right, then you need to do these steps. And here you get to learn what you should with the aspects of money and camaraderie and partnership. Those are the things that you, you have to make it because you can't make it on your own and you have to know these outlets of the industry. We're nurturing these, these new generation of artists to do exactly what the older generation of artists did, such as Otis Redding. That's important to the community because that's what Macon is, the music capital. And uh, so the Otis Redding camp, is one of the biggest investments, not only in the future of the young campers, but also to the future of our community. You know, when you donate to the Otis Redding Camp, you're investing in the superstars of tomorrow. And you're not only investing in the music, you're investing in the doctors of tomorrow. You're investing in the teachers of tomorrow, the music educators of tomorrow. You would be aiding um, in the culmination of a lot of things that what making used to be. You can bring all of that back around with, with the support from sponsors to help these young campers. There's no other camp that I know of like this. This is what should be instilled in every city, this camp. And this is what every city needs to look forward to.